What's going on, everybody? So yesterday, this card here was brought to my attention in an email. And uh, taking a look at it, there was a lot wrong with just a listing, along with the card itself, too. I ended up posting in a group chat uh, talking about this because in no way am I an expert on OPG Wayne Gretzky rookies, but I do know a few things onto it. As of one on the front, if you loop it, there should be no like dots. It was like solid ink back then. And that's usually the biggest catch that you could do on the front of the card. And on the back, uh, right, I'll show you guys an example. But there's this blue lines. They're real faint kind of looking, but they go below that hockey puck and they go the whole way through the card. But anyhow, back to this. It was brought to me and I looked up like this. It would say Gretzky on to it. Which is odd. Yes, I know. A guy has zero feedback. Um, and I just started looking at it. And it talks about being PSA. That is not PSA. <laughs> I mean, people are really trying to get over big in the system. And I've seen something like this being sold on Etsy. Now, since yesterday, this has been taken down. But there were actually bids on this yesterday. There was actually bids on to it. So what I want to show you, this is where a lot of people are getting hemmed up at with also their, what do they call it, with their certified and authenticity program through um, eBay. This is what they're getting people for. Look, player athlete, look at all the names across here. Features. I don't see, that's no way, it's a young gun. Card attributes, not a black label for sure. I mean, just stuff like this, professional grader, PSA. Now I got it. He could have went a different route on to it. It has down here, Neil Broughton, rookie card, da-da-da-da, number 18, all that stuff. But look here, it's Wayne Gretzky, number 18. So I'm going to hit a few things about this in a quick video, but I will show you guys real quick. Item was taken down due to an error in the listing. Bunch of us... Uh, into this text message, I uh, decided to go ahead and report this because it's going to end up somebody's going to buy it and be out money. So that was done yesterday. Thank you for who sent this to me originally because I don't really scour eBay that much anymore for stuff. And if I am buying it, I just do a lot of due diligence into it. Uh, some people have looked at this, you know, those are the two things that I know to look at, just like I said. Well, besides the yellow dot on Gretzky, which by far. I'll show you on the shoulder it kind of does have that yellow dot there but the first thing that threw it off to me I do know there's a lot of jagged edges on this stuff they joke around saying it was cut by wire instead of blades and then eventually they said just because it has clean sides doesn't mean that it was it's a fake that I guess later when they were doing more production of this stuff, they started using blades. There's a lot to this whole thing. But like I said, no way am I an expert, but I just know two things to look at. And that's usually if I loop it and I see the dots, no go. It's like, I'll show you guys the stuff here in a second. Actually, let me go ahead and pull it up. So this is what they talk about. This is one of the websites. So you guys can see right here is the blue lines I'm talking about that go through it. That's one of the key, they're not on all of them again, it's on a good chunk, but that's one of the key factors for me when I'm looking at it. They show the print dot, and they talk about the ice by seeing tiny spe blue specks, but if you see blue and red, or a red haze, it's fake. There, there's a lot to it, but let me see, oh, it's not this one, one of these here, okay, here it is. So as you guys can see right here, uh, if you look at the team and Gretzky name in front of the card, like the black, the name should be printed with solid ink and not compress the small dots. So they blew it up more. You see these small dots kind of right here? I try to blow it up big as I can. That's what they're talking about, and that's what I know to look for mostly onto it. So somebody else, more computer savvy, said they were trying to blow it up, looked like it had dots on it and stuff like that. Um... I just put down on mine that it was a wrong error listing because that's not a PSA graded card. Just to get it off, I know other people went in more detail onto their stuff because they're more experts into this card. I try to stay away from the OPG Gretzky because there's so many things 
that could get you wrong with it. And there was some stuff that I understand was corrected, but I do know the print is the biggest one if you have a loop or um, um, scope like I do. I could just blow it up and look. So, like I said, it was taken down yesterday. I'm going to put links in the description to these two guys just so you guys have it if you're in the market for a, P a P.G. Gretzky rookie. But there is a ton of fakes out there, a lot to float around. And this just helps you out overall. I mean, people always say buy the graded ones, but I do know through the years, every grading company has had a bad Gretzky or P.G. rookie float through. And just by missing something, you know, simple that was, you know, they, they forgot to check the block onto it or something. So don't be fooled. There still could be more out there in uh, slabs out there still. But I can tell you every company has been at fault for grading a fake one out there. But figured I'd bring this up today, uh, give you guys some tools on to the what to look for if you're in the market or somebody brings one to you, want to sell it, etc. Or if you have one, you're wondering if it's real. If you pulled it yourself, you know it's real. But really interesting that, you know, this had, like I said, a lot of errors on. And with that authenticity program of people saying their stuff's getting returned to them after the, um, it goes there because they're the seller because of stuff like this. This would have been returned because, one, name here. All this extra garbage down here that's wrong across the board. I mean, top stickers. <laughs> Card numbers wrong. There's, there's a lot wrong with this overall. It just screamed red flags. But I appreciate you sent this to me and everything. It's always good to push this stuff out there, everybody, so they can take a look at it. I mean, even like I said down here, they talked about card number 18. And Gretzky is card number 18. I'll show you guys right there, 18. But, yeah. Stuff's still floating around. Be careful what you guys buy out there. But uh, thankfully, it got uh, taken down by eBay. And, you know, somebody's not going to get stuck with something like this across the board, even though I don't think it would pass that authenticity program because they're supposed to send all graded cards go to PSA, all raw go to CSG for review. And I know PSA would have a field day with this one here. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good one. Catch y'all next video.